DVD era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Today we're going to talk about the time Haitian Jack took Buster Rhymes' bracelet. Now let's get into it. Now before I get into this story, it's people that be in the comment section like, Oh, why you bringing up old beef? The past is the past. Oh, why you making videos on this type of content? Look, this is what we do over here at DVD era TV. We bring up stuff from the past. And you know it's all entertainment. At the end of the day, it's a part of history and hip-hop, and you can't erase it. You can't go to the history book and erase slavery. It's still there. And if somebody's on YouTube talking about slavery, it happened, so people are going to talk about it. These things happen, so people are going to talk about it. If you don't want people to talk about it, they should have never did it. You get what I'm saying? And this is a market for past beefs and incidents that happened. It's not to restart or respark any old beef, but we're going to talk about it. And like I said, before I had a YouTube channel, I wish it was a YouTube channel talking about these things because it's entertaining and it's interesting. So if you don't like the content, please hit that dislike button, unsubscribe, and cut the video off. But let's get into this. Shout out to Gully TV because I feel he's one of the goats at content like this. So shout out to him and he kind of broke this story worldwide somewhat or into the underworld that cares about stuff like this and cavario for dawn diva magazine exposed this information to gully and i think um he supposedly had tried to throw gully under the bus so you know gully put this information out there and he said he had got haitian jack on the phone with cavario while he was with haitian jack and cavario mentioned it and he said to look that Haitian Jack had on his face was just like, this dude talk too much type stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, Gully said, like, Haitian Jack know that Cavario was the one to put the information out there because he was the only one that was there, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it was a situation like, if you know, you know. It even was whispers in the industry that Diddy was so shook at Haitian Jack, he gave him a $10,000 Rolex off his wrist. You know what I'm saying? Some of the stories is like Haitian Jack just took the Rolex and, you know, did he let him have it without a fight? And, you know, some people just say, you know, he, he just gave him the watch because he was shook at him. He didn't want no problems. And around this time in the 90s, you know, Jimmy Henchman, Haitian Jack, Tut, they had these dudes under pressure. So, you know, they basically was doing what they wanted to do. So it's not too far fetched with these stories and stuff like that. And Rod Diggs had a song where he even mentioned it on it, I believe. But listening to it now, it don't sound like he say bust, he say buck, but it could be the way he pronounced it. You know what I mean? You know, sometimes when you rap, words come out differently. It don't come out how you pronounce it if you were saying it talking. So he could have said bust, but it came out like buck. But he said, shout out to Haitian Jack, shout out to King Tut. When they was home, dudes had to keep their jewels tucked. Then he say, um, ask my nigga bust, ask my nigga puff. They know they've been draping them niggas up. So that could be a reference to, you know, Haitian Jack taking Buster Rhymes bracelet and Puffy Watch. I don't know, but you know, that just was the whispers. And now, you know, they kept it on a low too because Spliff Star supposedly has a great relationship with Haitian Jack. So, you know, they didn't want that story to get out there. But anyway, get in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Got more content coming, and I'm out. One.